Greetings YouTube. Today's video is going to be about hiring bias based on race. This should be fun. I'm going to link to a blog post, um, possibly even to a Metafilter a comment thread about this topic. Um, and an unemployed woman looking for jobs in the insurance field where she had worked before spent two years trying to get employed. Black female. No success. She went back to school, completed her degree, got out of school, started applying for jobs again. No bites. When she used monster.com, which is one of the most popular job online job sites there is, I myself have used it many, many years ago, um, there is a diversity question, a required diversity question, which makes me wonder why it exists. And the diversity question requires you to tell them your sex and your racial ethnicity. Why? Why in the 21st century does it matter what sex, gender, orientation, race, ethnicity, political affiliation, or religious affiliation an employee is? It shouldn't. We should have complete and utter transparency and complete and utter blindness to those things. It should not matter in the least. But this woman, woman wasn't getting any bites for her job search. So she changed the uh, diversity question, which is like, you know, they give you an option along the lines of, you know, I don't want to answer this question. Still no bites. So she decided to do an experiment. She created a false identity named Bianca White. All the same job requirement, all the same history, education, everything was the same except the person was named Bianca White, and on the diversity questions, she put down Caucasian. As soon as she activated that monster.com page for Bianca White, she got a hit. And she ran this experiment for a week, in which time she had 24 employers contact her through phone or email for Bianca White. 24 in a week. That's kind of astounding. As someone who's been unemployed in the past, and it stinks, though I've never gone more than about two months, um, getting 24 hits in one week would be awesome. Flat out. Um, but what does that say about America? What does that say about our hiring practices? And what does that say about, hmm, I don't know, racial tensions in America? Affirmative action? There's a reason affirmative action exists. And this is one of those reasons. Because when some people know the ethnicity of an individual, they will filter them out. I'm not even saying they're doing it intentionally. Some will, of course. But some won't. Interestingly, I shared this article with a friend of mine who lives in Norway at the moment. And she told me that... Um, She's encountered this herself when dealing with uh, employment, and it's but it's about Slavic and Arabic names. So people who have Slavic and Arabic names get filtered out, while people who don't, well, they get hired. Why do we do this? Is it us and them? Is it tribalism? And then we blame the people that don't get hired. Because we do that. We say all oh, those lazy slobs, or Arabics, or blacks. Maybe they're not getting hired. Maybe they're not working. Because people won't put them to work. People won't hire them. Now I work in a factory, and we have a lot of ethnic and cultural diversity at my place of business. Um, there are many times that I'll be sitting in the calf, and I'm the only person in the place that speaks, speaks English as the first language. Um, I enjoy it. I like knowing that I'm working with people from Eastern European countries and South America and Africa and the Middle East. I find that interesting. I find it invigorating to know that there is a diverse selection of humanity around me. 
I don't fear that diversity. And like I've said many times in the past, if you look at the problems of human interaction, I can guarantee you if you dig deep enough, you will find fear.